Just to talk about the weather that we're going through right now, and we've been going through for quite some time. And I really don't mind it personally, but the uh, the meteorologists and everyone have been saying summer. This is the summer that just won't quit. They said it doesn't want to go anywhere. Uh, I believe they've even upped the temperatures since what you see here. Yesterday we were 93 degrees, and that's a big deal for October 1st. We've been in the 90s, the upper 80s and 90s, is, well, as long as I can remember, really. And it's uh, because of the storms and heavy rain we've been having today, it's going to be around 83, with a real feel of 94. Wednesday is supposed to be 86, with a real feel, I think, around uh, 90, 96 or so. High humidity. We're supposed to be 88. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but I think they've actually upped it to 89 on Friday and 90 for both Thursday and Saturday. I think they've I think they've increased it to 90 degrees, so it's it's looking as though we'll reach 90 pretty much Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now, and almost inching toward 90 next Monday. So all the way through, <laughs> all the way through. Uh, October 8th at least will be around nearly 90. The real feel is going to reach 100 degrees for us Friday. That's right, 100 degrees. On October 5th, 100 degree real feel. A 100 degree real feel on October 5th. I just want to know if any of you ever remember uh, this long of a stretch of summer temperatures. Uh, it's it's going to be hot. That's why they put hot on Friday because it's going to feel like 100 degrees with uh, extremely high humidity. Some places above 100. I know they had some very warm temperatures up in Washington as well. That's before this cool front is expected to come through. The jet stream, if you've seen the latest uh, look of the jet stream, the jet stream, I'm just going to kind of draw it here, kind of does this right now. The jet stream, imagine this being the United States, and the jet stream kind of does this and then kind of dips across like that. Where all in this area, um, north, northward, or actually northwest, you have snow and cold temperatures that are expected. While mild, very, 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 very hot temperatures are expected anywhere eastward and uh, central and southern Tennessee areas right in there of the United States still experiencing through the next 10 days temperatures around 90 with a real feel at or above 100 degrees or at least in the 90s as real feels so now I think the forecast is calling for 90 90 um, and I think 88 Saturday still and then 90 Sunday and 86 Monday so I think that's the updated forecast but I had to show this warm stretch of weather, and it's just an interesting interesting thing to have uh, remained in the 80s and 90s in real fields around 100 for this long all the way through October. So, especially when they're advertising trick-or-treating and everything. I know last year, well, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, one of the years we were around 80 degrees. We were around 80 degrees. I think it was 80 on Halloween a couple of years ago. And then a few years ago, we had a 76-degree Christmas. So, it does happen. But the fact of it remaining this warm for this long of a time, how in late September, we were actually 97 degrees as the temperature. I think about a week and a half ago, we reached 97 degrees as the actual temperature. The air temperature, the real feel was 105, so 105 so it's been very warm, and that's the unsettled pattern. The The jet stream is dipping this low into around, into around Texas. It was around 95 degrees in Texas yesterday. And uh, I believe, at least that's what they stated now. That's what they stated on AccuWeather. I don't know if you all live in Texas or whatever, or wherever, if you live in those areas. Let me know, because I'm curious to know what the weather is like where you're at. Because it's been very warm. It's felt very humid, very summer-like outside, and uh, it's been pouring rain for a very long time. The only days I can remember we didn't have rain were Saturday and Sunday. 
and Friday evening, Friday evening through Saturday and Sunday. So it's been very crazy weather. Uh, let me know what the weather has been like where you're at. I mean, it's it was 73 degrees when this was <laughs> when this uh, when I took this screenshot this morning. So that was the low, 73 degrees. That was the low tonight. So anyway, uh, just let me know. Let me know. Uh, Sorry, I uh, tried to, uh, I was trying to mute the TV there and then I accidentally, I turned it over to HDMI and muted it, but I actually turned it on, turned the volume on, but yeah, it's been very warm. Let me know, let me know what, <laughs> what the weather's like where you're at because it's very sporadic here. I mean, actually very warm. It's actually very, very warm. So, let me know if you remember a year like this. Much love and peace. Bye. I just hope it's not bad next summer, but I kind of enjoy this weather right now. Normally, I couldn't stand the heat, so I'm very surprised. Um, I don't really mind this because it means that the cold weather, the cold, brutal cold, is holding off for us. So, because last week, they actually stated that it was going to be 38 by this time, and now it's changed to definitely not 38, that's for sure. They're saying that about uh, two weeks from now, but I don't, or a week or two from now, but I don't know. They, they, they might change it by then. But let me know what the weather's like where you're at. It's been a, an interesting forecast for sure. So much love and peace. Bye.